Well, uh, thank you, Caroline. Can, can I just check? Are, are there any young people in the house? <laughs> are there any young people here? Yes. Well, welcome to the Francis Crick Institute. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasure uh, to be here to open London Tech Week. I want to start by thanking the Francis Crick Institute who are hosting us today and whose researchers do such inspirational work. It's an amazing building with amazing work being undertaken here. Let's give them a big round of applause, please, for hosting us. You know, there's always, there's always a great buzz about the London Tech Festival, a festival that not only showcases the latest tech innovation, but serves as a perfect illustration that despite Brexit, our city remains welcoming, outward looking, and open, open to business, open to investment, and open to talent. It's always incredible to marvel at the array of new technology on show during London Tech Week, from drones and driverless cars to quantum computers and robots. I'm surprised there's not a display devoted to the most popular invention of our times. The tech that allows us to stream on demand the new series of Love Island. <laughs> and now I know what you're thinking, I'm so impressed the mayor knows what Love Island is. But seriously, it's wonderful to be here with so many young Londoners, especially because it's you who will play a crucial role as the next generation of engineers, entrepreneurs and innovators. Our city already boasts one of the world's leading tech sectors. We're the biggest innovation hub in Europe, home to some of the most dynamic tech companies anywhere on Earth. And today, we're publishing a report on London's artificial intelligence ecosystem, which shows we're home to 745 AI companies, more than twice as many as our closest rivals, Paris and Berlin, combined. Not that I'm competitive. Well, actually, I am. But I, wanna, I want us to go even further and to do even more to fully unlock the benefits of innovation, not just for London's economy, but for our public services and our society. To do this, we must be bold, we must be brave, and confident enough to think big and try new things. This is how we can achieve our vision of making London the world's leading smart city in order to harness innovation for the benefit of all Londoners. Today, I'm pleased to announce the launch of our new Smart London Roadmap. This sets out how we can leverage data, science and tech to promote economic growth and help tackle some of the biggest challenges facing our city. From cleaning up our polluted air to helping the police make our streets safer. As part of this, we're launching the Civic Innovation Challenge, which will match tech startups with leading companies and public bodies to tackle growing issues around inequality, climate change, and supporting London's aging population. I see London's future as a global test bed city for innovation, where the best tech companies work to develop solutions to major challenges. But to realize this, and to create a fairer, greener, and more prosperous London, not only do we need to ensure we adopt cutting edge technology, but we must take a more collaborative approach too. One that relies on our tech community, our public authorities, and universities and colleges working more closely together. This will enable us to accelerate the uptake of new technology, make the tech sector more representative, and crucially, ensure young Londoners are given the opportunities to participate in the digital economy of the 21st century. Let me end by saying this. Ultimately, this roadmap we're laying out is as much about your future, the future of young Londoners, as it is about the future of our city. Because only by drawing on your talents will we be able to push the boundaries of technology and innovation and succeed in meeting the challenges of tomorrow. In the age of AI, 
machine learning and robotics, you have the capacity to not only make a difference, but to transform societies, revive economies, and determine the fate of our planet. So I want you to know that careers in tech aren't just for the fortunate few, they're for anyone who works hard enough and dreams big. The story of London is, and always has been, about young Londoners marking, making their mark and leaving a legacy. You know, we're in an institute named after Francis Crick. Francis Crick came to school in our city and studied at one of our universities, University College London. He went on to jointly discover the structure of the DNA molecule and win a Nobel Peace Prize. His work was a game changer and continues to echo down the ages. And I see no reason why yours shouldn't be too. So good luck and thank you very much.